Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn and do subtraction word problems or story sums in class 2. We know that subtraction is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. We have learned in lower classes that to deal with a word problem, first we should read the problem, identify the keywords and then solve the problem and write the answer. Let us quickly look at what are all the keywords with respect to subtraction. Give away, how many more, take away, how many left, remaining, how many less, difference and how many did not. These are some of the keywords with respect to subtraction. When you find these keywords in the problems, you can be very sure that you have to perform the subtraction operation. Let us go into the details of this video now and do several examples in subtraction word problems. The first sum is, Mira has a packet of 80 cookies. She distributed or gave away 37 cookies to her friends. How many are left with her? First identify the keywords. What are the keywords here? Gave away and how many are left? These two keywords indicate that this sum is going to deal with the subtraction operation. The next step is to write down the statements. Number of cookies with Mira is equal to 80. Number of cookies she gave away is equal to 37. So, what do we have to find here? Number of cookies left with her is equal to 80 minus 37. Let us do the subtraction now. Write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the 1's place. 0 minus 7 cannot be done because 7 is greater than 0. So you move on to the 10's place for regrouping or borrowing from the 10's place. In 10's place we have 8 10's which when regrouped becomes 7 10's plus 1 10 or 10 1's. So now you will have 10 1's in the 1's place. 10 minus 7 is 3 and 7 minus 3 is 4. So what is the difference between the two two digit numbers now? It is 43. And what is this 43? It is the number of cookies that is left with Mira. The next step is to take and write down the answer. Therefore, 43 cookies are left with Mira. The next sum that we are going to do is, Suraj has 55 marbles and Raki has 79 marbles. Who has more marbles? How many more? What are the keywords here? We have one keyword which is how many more which indicates that we are going to deal with the subtraction operation. The next step is to take and write down the statements. Number of marbles with Suraj is equal to 55. Number of marbles with Rakhi is equal to 79. Who has more marbles? Here we have two two digit numbers for comparison. We know that when we are comparing two two digit numbers we will have to look at the tens place. In tens place we have 5 and 7. We know that 7 is greater than 5 but that we can conclude that 79 is greater than 55 which means that Raki has more marbles. The next question is how many more? To find answer to this question, we will have to subtract the number of marbles with Raki minus the number of marbles with Suraj. That is 79 minus 55. Write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the 1's place. 9 minus 5 is 4. 7 minus 5 is 2. So the answer is 24. What is this 24? It is the number of marbles that Raki has more than Suraj. So now take and write down the answer. She has 
24 marbles more than Suraj? The first part of the answer is Rakhi has more marbles and the second part of the answer is she has 24 marbles more than Suraj. Hope you have understood how to identify the keywords, write down the statements, work out the calculation and write the answers. Let us move on to the next sum. Tanya got 65 marks in a test and Shiva got 93 marks. Who got less marks? How many less? So let us identify the keywords here. We have one keyword which is how many less. This keyword indicates that we are going to do the subtraction operation. Let us take and write down the statements. Marks got by Tanya is equal to 65. Marks got by Shiva is equal to 93. Who got less marks? Now we have to do a comparison of the two two digit numbers. Comparing the tens place it is 6 and 9. We know that 6 is lesser than 9. With that we can conclude 65 is lesser than 93 which means that who got less marks? Tanya got less marks. How many less? To find out how many marks less we will have to subtract the mark obtained by Shiva minus the mark obtained by Tanya. That is 93 minus 65. Write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 3 minus 5 cannot be done so you move on to the tens place to borrow where you have 9 tens which when you regroup becomes 8 tens plus 10 ones. So now in the ones place you will have 10 plus 3, 13 ones. 13 minus 5 is 8 and in the tens place 8 minus 6 is 2. So the answer is 28. What is this 28? It is the number of marks or it is the mark by which Tanya has got lesser than Shiva. That is when you take and write down the answer you will write it like this. Tanya got less marks and she got 28 marks less than Shiva. Let us move on to the next question. Sam has 835 stamps with him. If you take away 367 stamps from him, how many stamps will be left with him? So here we have two keywords take away and how many stamps will be left. So we know that we are going to do the subtraction operation. So first take and write down the statement. Number of stamps with Sam is equal to 855. Number of stamps taken away from Sam is equal to 367. What do we have to find? Number of stamps that will be left with him which is 855 minus 367. So we are going to do the subtraction operation. Write down the place values and begin subtracting from the 1's place. 5 minus 7 cannot be done. So move on to the 10's place. 5 tens is regrouped as 4 tens plus 10 1's. 10 plus 5 is 15. So 15 minus 7 in the 1's place which will give you 8. In 10's place 4 minus 6 again cannot be done because 6 is greater than 4. Move on to the 100's place. Regroup 800's you get 700's and 10 tenths. So when you get 10 tenths plus 4 tenths, it will be 14 tenths. 14 minus 6 in the tenths place will give you 8. In hundreds place, 7 minus 3 is 4. So the difference is 488. How will you take and write down the answer now? Therefore, the number of stamps that will be left with Sam is 488. The next question that we are going to do is, in a school of 530 children, 319 participated in the annual day program. How many children did not participate in the annual day program? The keyword here is, how many children did not participate? So let us take and write down the statements. Number of children in the school is equal to 530. Number of children who participated in the annual day program is equal to 319. What do we have to find? Number of children who did not participate in the annual day program which can be achieved by subtracting 530 minus 319. Let us do the subtraction operation. Write down the place values and begin subtracting from the ones place. 0 minus 9 cannot be done. So regroup the tens place. 3 tens becomes 2 tens plus 10 ones. 
So you get 10 ones in the ones place. 10 minus 9 is 1. 2 minus 1 in the tens place is 1. And in the hundreds place, 5 minus 3 is 2. So the difference is 211. Now take and write down the answer. Therefore, 211 children did not participate in the annual day program. Next question that we have is, there are 480 books in the library. Children of class 2 and class 3 took out 285 books. How many books remain in the library? The keywords here are took out and remain. So now to do the subtraction operation, first write down the statements. Number of books in the library is equal to 480. Number of books the children of class 2 and 3 took out is equal to 285. Therefore, number of books that remain in the library is equal to 480 minus 285. When you subtract 480 minus 285, you get the answer to be 195. So now we have to take and write down the answer. Therefore, 195 books remain in the library. The next question that we are going to see is, there are 785 chairs in a hall. 69 chairs are empty. How many chairs are occupied? Here we do not have a direct keyword to indicate that this is a subtraction sum. But when you understand the concept of the sum, you can see clearly that it is a subtraction operation because we have number of chairs in the hall to be 785 of which number of chairs that are empty is 69. So we will have to find out how many chairs are occupied. To do that, we will have to subtract 785 minus 69. So dear viewers, it is very important for the children to comprehend the sum even when there is no a direct keyword indicating that it is a subtraction operation. When you subtract 785 minus 69, you get the answer to be 716. So what is the answer now? Therefore, 716 chairs are occupied in the hall. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 2 under the topic subtraction for the children of which I have covered all these topics in separate videos. In this video, we saw story sums and in my upcoming video, we will be seeing mental math and subtraction worksheet. With that, we will be completing the topic subtraction and then we will be moving on to multiplication. As I have covered each of the topic in separate videos, links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box for your quick and easy access. You may also click on the in-screen video which will take you directly to the playlist containing all the videos for class 2 subtraction. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the next topic on subtraction. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.